What's up, folks? So I'm going to start the video this way because I have a cat in my lap who is, like, barrel rolling and just, you know, being adorably cute. So ultimately, I didn't want to have to go around and restart it that way. But we're going to listen to another tune from VCMG. I do apologize. It's been a while since we've been back to this deep dive. It did slip off, uh, but Han Solo reminded me about it recently, a couple weeks ago. It still actually took me longer to get back to than I intended. But we are back now for their 2012 album, so, yeah, the next tune is Aftermath, plural, which is interesting. Like, normally you would hear it more as Aftermath because it encompasses any and all new situations or outcomes or resultant conditions from some transformative process, event, etc. Um, now, fair to say, this is a techno record, so I don't expect this track to have elaborate lyrics or to explore the concept of Aftermath, plural. Um, in any meaningful sense, but yeah, like I said, normally you would expect to hear after math because it encompasses everything even though it's a singular. Um, so yeah, it's an interesting phrase. I suppose it relates to the way in which sometimes mathematics is shortened as maths instead of math, which I, I think that's more of like a across the pond thing. Nevertheless, I'm talking nonsense, so let's listen to the track. This is VCMG after math with an S and it's from the 2012 album that's all S's.
drum machines and uh, synths are going off the rails, so you just like pull the plug on the master um, and then it you know, essentially woo, shuts down and dies like a 1950s computer or something. So I enjoy the cheekiness of that end. We are now in the aftermath of aftermaths. Um, like I said, the, the opening configuration which then came back in the middle of the track uh, for a particularly slapping part, um, that's by far my favorite you know, um, phase or uh, part of this tune. Um, the dissonant section, I don't dislike it, but that layer, it was like sort of uh, like, I don't know, melancholic sci-fi dissonant. It just didn't quite like hit in the same way. Like it felt like if you want to do an entire tune like that, it would be like a more interesting way to um, use that section. But it felt here sort of like an interruption of what I was already enjoying. And then we got that like section to come back later. So um, yeah, sort of a, a Janist face tune. Uh, maybe some people will appreciate the full progression or even specifically that dissonant part, but wasn't my favorite part. Um, but like I said, I really enjoy that main configuration as well as the more stripped down kind of, you know, austere side trancey part, like I was saying. Um, so yeah, a cool tune. There's a couple more on the record. Uh, like I said, it's taken a little longer to get through this than I intended, but once again, shout out to Han Solo for sharing it. Let me know what you think. And Luca, the comatose cat, and I. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> 